Hello, everybody. <laughs> that was a little retarded. Hello, and welcome to the Dungeon Lounge. It's me, Elizabeth. Spotify. Be less you. Be more functional. Anyways, hello. It's Tuesday. It's time for cringy painting time with my favorite TTRPG character as of right now from Exalted. Yeah. So yeah, we're picking up on this. I hope everyone's had a good Tuesday. Or if not, day's almost over. Also, thank you for stopping by, even though you had the option to watch whatever is going to be that uh, presidential debate. Hey. Or if you're watching both, I understand. Hello. Hello, Lennon. Hello, Teacup. How you both doing? Decided to sneak in a little uh, Gojira before we got started. All right. Just kind of looking over and forming my plan of attack. She, this part's much more done than this one. This one's got a lot more to go. I think just because it's snake bits and wings. But I think I might start working on the weapon on this one at least. I might do both just because I'll have the paints out. I also want to dry brush her fur. And yeah. And I've got to get some paint in there and might do some work on the base too. The other big question is also, am I going to start doing, am I going to risk messing up all my paint job to do the uh, tattoos, uh, just for reference? Uh, technically, she should have these visible tattoos all over. I don't know if I want to risk messing up my paint job with that freehand work. I'm scared. <laughs> but, oh, I appreciate that. I mean... I will admit, before going live, I was uh, chatting with some friends, and uh, there were some discussions about having a bingo card going, about what um, <clears throat> foibles show up during the debate. <laughs> anyway, but we're here to paint, so we're going to paint now. So I think what I'm going to focus on first is um, bringing the uh, color more closer on the on the, the green parts more to match what the is in the drawing, which is again, boop, a much, a much lighter green. So I'm going to put that away. So what I'm looking at is I'm going to be using uh, probably this color called all green camo, which hopefully will look okay with the dark green underneath it. If not, I will make sad noises. My other option is this war boss green. The problem is that I know this is, I'm pretty sure this is too dark. Here, let's let's bring up a comparison. Uh, we got you, and then you. I'm almost tempted to mix the two together because, like, Ogren Camo's got like a little bit of extra yellow in it that I'm not entirely enthused about. Like, there is yellow in in the thing, but like, it's a little too much. Yeah, like this. Like, yeah, I could either I could either lighten this or I could mix the two. You know what? I've got a palette out. Let's do some experimenting. Experiment on the palette, see what I like, and then whatever the winner is, I'll go with that. So I'll do a little bit. I'll do first a mix of these two, and then I'll also grab... Here we go. So here's some white, and I can also use that for an experiment, too. Experimentation. Um, I'll use this brush to do my stirring. Oh, wait. How bad is this? Uh, oh, that's pretty separated. We need to shake. We're doing science today. All right, put that away. Yeah. Wrong one. Right one. Shake your pants to the beat. Or in this case, the base. How's that? Respectable. Yeah. So let's get a little bit of you out. Ooh. Okay, we get a little bit extra out. Okay. Place your bets now. How bad will the paint water be by end of stream? <laughs> Hello, Alosin. Oh no, is it bad already? Hello, Fu Manchu. Welcome in. Welcome in. 
I'm glad that I am a better, I am better than the debate. Hands. Hey, brainless. I have hands. Oh my God. These are my little flesh, flesh hands. How goes I just got started. I'm doing an experiment. I'm trying to make a green out of a couple other greens and we're going to see how it goes. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. I'm honestly surprised. Like I, 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 I didn't think no one would come by, but I was. As, I, I did think that the debate would win in terms of, as you said, it. It may be a train wreck, but but it is a train wreck that's hard not to watch. And I am waiting to hear about what. Like I mean, like let's be honest, we're kind of expecting it to be a bit of a circus. But yeah, hello, making a green greener, green greener. Oh no, that white's still ugly. I hate it. Need to shake it more. If anyone wants to be a nice bean for my birthday, I might have on my throne something that makes the paints get shaken by machines rather than me using my stupid hands. But <laughs> again, I could just as easily get it myself. I just decided to put it on my throne because whatever. It's a nice to have, not a need to have. All right, so we'll drop some white down for some potential mixing. Loop. Hello, Ishmael. I for sure thought you'd be watching the debate today, so welcome on in. We're doing an experiment. I'm going to see what kind of green I can make and if I like the green. No, no, that's not what I meant. I was just saying it is there, but you don't have to do anything with it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get a little bit of this. Just a little bit. A little bit. I wish I had like a stirring stick or something, but I don't. I threw out all my popsicle sticks because I was a dumbass. Oh, yes. I also added those to my throne. <laughs> the less expensive solution putting a metal ball in. Ha 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 ha. Hmm. All right, so I think this is a good experiment to start from. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> mm. Mm. It is greener, but I think I want more green. I think I want more green. More green. More green for the green gods. Um, that might be a decent mix. Oh, that's also true. Just steal them. Her drinking game makes it real mixed up. Oh, God, no. Oh, I would die. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's not active yet. Maybe we should turn that on. It is, like, less than a birthday to my... Less than a month to my birthday. Less than a birthday to the month. <laughs> Do that math. All right, let me just quickly, here we go. So yeah, I do think, when you're not looking at the glare, light, um, that new mix does seem to be getting closer to the green. So I think I will use that. What a great experiment. What is this? This is my old TTG, TT RPG character from the old game Exalted. Her name is Hidden Mercy. Why does the snake have boobs? So here, I will explain. So the, the person on the left, that's Hidden Mercy. She is a lunar exalted and they can shape shift. So that is her shape shifted form into a snake. So it is half lady, half snake. So that is why she has snitties because it is, there's still some mammal in there. A little bit. It's supposed to be a merging of, of both forms because this is like her war form. Also, the, the actual model, as you can see here, she also has on wings later on. But yes. So don't worry too much about it. But yes, for the purposes of logic and lore, it is not 100% snake. There's, a little, there's, there's just enough mammal in there to justify the tits. The snitties, I'm sorry. Please don't ban me, Twitch. All right, put that away now. <laughs> Uh, don't want this brush? No. I want this brush. Paints go over here. Yes, look respectfully, chat. This is my beloved character from Exalted. You have to look respectfully at her. 
Especially just because <laughs> she may be taken. When when the game concluded, she was in a relationship. Yes, don't drink from... Yes, so here, I, at the very least, so I've got... My drink is in a Pepsi can. Pepsi can. And then my paint water is in a bowl. Is what we call the danger tea, which right now looks like ew. So yeah, she was about to get married. Oh no, oh no. A hundred snakes. What happened to the snakes? Are they okay? Did they go to a local shelter? Yeah, danger tea. No, we do not drink the danger tea. Oh, ten. That is still big, but not as much as a hundred. Less than a hundy. Oh, they're in your care. That's nice. I hope they're doing okay. Stay. Oh no, this is too too thin. There we go. That's okay. That's better. I might have to do a second coat of this. Oh, oh, Demerlis boas. Oh, interesting. So are they, are they like related to the boa constrictor? Because like for for Mercy, my character here, or that was her form. She specifically, I used a boa constrictor as the inspiration. I didn't want a venomous snake. Oops. Upside down. Well, how to get the underside too. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking like maybe like brainless. He worked at like an office or something. It's like suddenly snakes. And it's like, what? Snakes? The Boa family, okay. Uh, yeah, a few, I think a few times. Because, yeah, like her, her abilities, I had more on a constriction, not on a venom. I, had her, I didn't buy her any venom abilities. I bought strictly uh, constriction. She might have choked out a player character. One time. It was the one time. And she was very sorry about it afterwards. In fairness, they had no business being in an exalted fight in a tournament. Oh, oh no. Okay, no, I didn't. I thought I got the, I thought I booped the model. I'm sure you have some cosmic rationale. All right. Uh, oh, I missed a part back here. <laughs> oh, I was just so good. No, I didn't do it to you. It was um Sasha's character that I um I uh removed her from the tournament by choke out. Or sorry, Mercy removed her from the tournament by choke out because uh. The fight because um when what's her name bloodstained knives showed up in the tournament um the general consensus was is that uh, don't let her anywhere near squish the squishier peoples and Azure at that time was a squishier people. Everyone, I'm painting your butt. Look respectfully. So you did have some other emotional trauma, or your character, Gion, did have some other emotional trauma in that Exalted game at that tournament. Also related to Bloodstained Knives. Ah! Yeah, Sweet Milk, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be very funny because the name they did her food was... <laughs> <Totally fetched. laughs> ah. Aww. Right? No. As I said, she's she's spoken for. Um,
okay. I mean, honestly, I'll be honest, Mercy probably wouldn't care. Um, a very common thing among Exalted, especially because they shapeshift so often, is that they kind of just said, like, whatever. This is my butt. Get over it. You may have to go deal with the Death God today. Not, I meant in the sense that the Lunars might have to go deal with the Death God. You guys are fine. Unless you want to go fight a Death God, which, hey, you know what? You do you. Hello, Tater. Welcome on into the Dungeon Lounge. Are you also avoiding the debates? I do not mind being a debate avoiding tactic. Uh, I have to admit, as I add this green, my brain's having a bit of an "oh no, you're fucking it up" moment. But I'm, I, I think it'll get as I clean it up and as I kind of add on layers, I should hate it less. All right, this is just for you, wish, ma'am. I have to now paint her snoot. Hello, Knox. Why is why is what not set up? Oh, hugs. I'm sorry. I don't know. Ask ask Flora. She's the one who sets up all the body bots. I have to boop her snoot to paint it. We're booping it. Boop. Boop. One respectful snoot boop. Yeah, boop that snoots. Hands would, oh, my hands barely feel stable enough for this. Let's be clear. <laughs> and I will say, like anything, it is it's practice, right? Oops. You just got to keep doing it. Never say never. Keep painting. I know. Oh, my God. A booping of a snoot. A cannon booping of snoot required for the, the, the painting. Oh, whoops, sorry. Shaky hands, you brace your forms. Yeah, um, usually, yeah, some, some bracing can help. Um, some of my shaking sometimes is just straight out nerves. Like, when we get to the part that I have to do eyes, the shaking will be 100% nerves. I will do what I can to mitigate it, but, but, but. I'm gonna have this in my head all night. Yeah. Knox got a cute new little emote of a little boopy boop, boopy snooty. A little snooper brooder. There we go. Sorry. Ah. 
Are your headsets hitting my camera? Life is hard. Hey. Did you send me a DM? That's not an answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey. Oh, we may see a doctor about that. Hey. I'm literally right here, dude. I don't go anywhere. Dramatic much? Sorry. <laughs> I'm like answering this song. Hey, look, listen. And I got a paint in here and it's going to be hard. I'm going to make sad faces and painting is hard. Mercy, why your tail go wiggle? Why? Why? What's the perfect way to get rid of the shakiness of the hands? Is it booping? It better not be booping. Bet war not be. I had said, tie your hand to a table. Um, I mean, that might prevent a lot of things. Na, 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 na. See, I wonder why why this song's on my playlist. Lol. <laughs> it's a bomb. Have you ever thought such a perfect day? What's in your hand? Let's do it one by one. Have you ever thought such a day would come? <laughs> the theory. Set up a brand new story. Straight up and put it shortly. This is the way my life goes. Someone said I am such a foolish girl. Who cares? It's better than without a lot. I'm not tying my hand to a table, for the record. Ugh, ow, my back already. Ow. Oh, that's a cute emo. Oh, it's a little spinning panda. Oh, I love it. Where is that from? Ah. Well, it's like, oh, panda see, like Katamari Damacy. I love it. Ugh. Okay, back to work. One by 
one. Have you ever thought such a day would come? Forget about those worries. Show me your smile, how charming. Now come and kiss your mommy. Somehow I hate to see you lie and lie. I know how dumb I am, but so are you. Sometimes I want to laugh and cry at once. Explain me what is justice, what is right. Oh, no, that's too much. Spread it out, spread it out. Shut up, you're such a wordy. Forget about those worries. Show me your smile, how charming. Go home and kiss your mommy. Sometimes that I am such a foolish girl. Who cares? It's better than we found. Oh, I missed a little spot entirely. Sometimes I need someone to hold me tight. Explain me what is justice, what is right. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to start slowly mixing in a bit more of this. A little bit more of this, and then we stir it up. We're stirring, we're stirring, we're making more. I might need to add a little bit more of here. I said more. Oh, we've reached our effinescence portion of the evening. Did I match the color? Hopefully I did. No, I haven't quite matched it. Ugh. More of you. Get in here. Yeah, at least one Evanescence song. Speaking of bingo cards. Am I that unimportant? Am I so insignificant? Isn't something missing? Isn't someone missing me? You won't try for me, not now. Though I die to know you love me, I'm all alone. Isn't someone missing? Sing me. Here's my emo cringe for the night. Eh. Hello, little tail.
I gotta make sure the butt's very well painted. Very important feature. Ah, hit my head again. I wasn't. It wasn't nice to see. Uh, I was able to catch a little bit of Flora's stream last week and see the. If, like it's one of those things where, because um, she was drawing the picture of her character from the same game, Choir of Birdsong. And it's one of those things where it's like, you know, you hear everyone's characters described and things like that, and you kind of end up with your own picture in your head of it. And it was kind of nice to finally be able to be like, this is how she saw it in her head the whole time, you know? It was neat. Oh, no. I got I got some green on your wingling. I'm sorry. I'll fix it. I promise. Meow 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 banana. Do 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 do. I'm not going to too worry too much, too much about making like a super solid coat because it does occur to me I still have to put in the brown patches. So. <laughs> you keep on blinking at me. You never turn away from me in this rescue night sky. Like the fire up in the night. No matter where we go, you will not stop with shining forever. Oh, hello, bird. Oh, that's okay. Practical peach blizzards. Oh. Is that a game or is that like like a Dairy Queen final exam? And how we saw Gion. Oh, how we saw Gion. Um, I mean, um, I know you had said he was, um quote-unquote older or at least older for an exalted character because i think you said he exalted in his late 30s um was the way that you had done the character um i know you said he was bald um or at least like he had shaved most of his hair i think in favor of like a ponytail magical breach wizards oh <laughs> you know i'm like is that a blizzard like is that a dairy queen exam i want to do the blair i want to do the dairy queen exam I bet it involves eating blizzards. Yeah, late 30s, early 40s. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of like an actor I would have compared Gion to. Oh, I missed a spot. I missed a spot. <gasps> Final boss is here. Yeah, shaved head saves a ponytail. Okay. I think he was l armored for the most part. Like, not, well, at least when he was out and about. Ouch in the butte. 
I might over a few pl places do some more another wash like maybe I think I'm bringing it over the heads the head and the arms I might do another wash a light one but just to kind of bring those features back out my question is did I bring out my green wash or did I put it away because I'm like I don't need green wash I hope camera yeah lamellar armor yeah Mm-hmm. Head pads who want some? Oh my god, free head pads for sale. Unless you're putting a price to them, in which case. I believe you gotta take a bud. Your snoot your snoop may get booted though. Booped. Booped. The word is boop. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to put this down for like a minute or two, like just, you know, sometimes you need to stop looking at something. It's like, I need to stop looking at this for a second and then I can decide if I want to do additional, if I want to do additional works. Oh no. No worries. Honestly, like it's wonderful that you wanted to give out DeBitties. It is not a requirement. It is just lovely to have you here. And that is the same for everybody in chat. Not, there is no compensation or anything required. Um, we, we, we do this because we want to be here and we want to do it, not because we're expecting anything. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving you for a good think. Um, so coming back to human form model. Oops. I might, I'm going to think, I think I might try and do some dry brushing along the fur down here. Yeah. Yeah. Take care of yourself first. You, you come first, not me. All right. Um, do I have a different gray? No, that's black. That's the wrong direction. That is incorrecta. That's not oil. That's definitely not the right direction. All right, we'll give Grace here a little try, see how much I hate it. All right, get it. This is my special dry brushing preparation. So we don't want too much water getting into this. Let's be out. A little too because if we do too much paint on a dry brush, it gets sad. Okay, I think that's probably a good place to start. All right, gotta be very careful with this. I only want to catch. Is that still too much? Just want to catch the edges, just the edges. Dead man's eyes. That's not bad. So you need to get a little more consistency. Ah, too much. Ah. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that, that I think about it, yeah. Though I think for some of your character characters, like, it, not that they, they were or weren't, but, like, it just never came up. 
Resulted was, after all, the launching of a thousand ships, and I do not mean the Navy, though we called it the Navy. Okay, I'm going to need a little bit more. Light, 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 just light, light, not too much. Light, light, light. Don't mess up. Set. Oh no, I gotta get in there. Ah. Oh, this leg's hard. <laughs> how dare I? How dare I make this model this way? Ugh. Did I get in? Oh my god, too, too much. Oh, this is a much easier angle. Why didn't I look from here? There we go. There we go. You're <laughs> doing awkward. Aww. Oh, I mean... I find that's one of the things I like about uh, tabletop RPGs is it kind of gives you a place that if you want to, like, do something like that, um, you can't. Like, if you want to, if you if you decide you want to be an ab absolutely abhorrent individual, guess what? There are games for that. Maybe check with your, your DM to make sure that kind of, you know, idea is consistent. Like, cause like say for instance, you want to be an, you know, a shitty person in a sabbat game for a vampire. Yeah. Congratulations, you're play you're playing the game correctly. But if it's like, hello, I am playing um uh like you know, Red Wall or something like that. Mm, not so much that game. Don't maybe don't be an important asshole in that game. <laughs> oh, so okay, that's good. Mm, okay, that's sensible. Well, I'm glad to hear things are safe, like you're in a safe position, because there there are a lot of situations where you can end up in some unpredictability. So, but I am glad to hear, Bird, that you're um, you just you're just in a take it take it easy, not a you know, there's a concern or something like that. All right. Okay. I think on this one, I might start painting the base and then work, start working on the weapon. Yeah, that's good. Meanwhile, how do I feel about you? Do I hate you? Um, uh, I, uh, there's some Blotchy parts that I'm not entirely happy with. And the butt. Why is your butt so hard to paint? Yeah, down here. Oh my god, Mercy. How dare you. Oh, I, I think you're awesome too. I mean... A common phrase we had among TTRPG night is that real life comes first. My VTubing is definitely nowhere near real life. Except for my hands. They're real. Is it the butt of Denanzor? Nah. Nah. It's not that good of a butt. I'm sure the argument can be made that the butt of Denanzor is like, uh... What's uh whatever what was her name? Sweet Order Raven? 
I think she had the butt of Denan's or, you know, before she got took off. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it sucks sometimes because it's frustrating when it's like, hey, I got this campaign going, but now so and so can't play because, you know, they've had, you know, their shit, their schedule, their work schedules changed or, um, you know, these two people are not friends anymore and don't want to be in the same room as each other and shit like that. So, like, I get it. It, it sucks sometimes. You know, it's like, I just want to play my little cheat job, but geez. But, sorry, the name of her name. Yeah. No worry. Don't worry. The There was a prior stream where I spent a good 30 minutes trying to remember because it was like, I was like, Flora, Flora, what was the other bird character? The other Abyssal Exalted? Because you require birds. Like, well, the other one, she had birds in her name too. What was her name? And she's like, I think it was Raven something. And then, like, a half hour later, my brain was like, sweet word of Raven. Hmm. <laughs> that's, that's good. It's it's good to find like a good steady gaming group of uh you know usually hopefully of friends but I mean sometimes it can just be a gaming group of just people who mutually just game together well but may not necessarily be friends I'm rambling you still have the obsidian portal info nice <laughs> yeah we did the this campaign of exalted there was I think over two hundred NPCs that had been created and then like various player characters and so on and so forth and cohorts. So the um the DM of the game had created an uh, obsidian portal page, which is a um it's kind of an organizer. You can use it to like organize uh create character sheets for all the characters and NPCs. You can use it to like, you know, upload maps and things like that or like put in like session notes and things like that. So it's it was a bit it was a handy resource. There there are I think I don't say better resources, but we are now looking at a market that has many resources available to people. This is true. I suppose if I am going to ramble, I do think in the end, I do think I want to do a light pass of uh, a wash, at least over the head and arms and the back, just to bring out some of those details. Oh, oh no, that's, I, I will, I will say like, I, sometimes spending XP can be intimidating, but on the other hand, I cannot see how a D and D character would function long term without leveling up. Like it's not a case of like because there's some games that are flat that you can kind of get away without spending XP and not be too screwed or what have you. It was a milestone. Like yeah, because like at D and D at level three, you pick your specialization. Like you, it, it's kind of integral. Or was it they, that they were trying, they didn't want something that was going to come up? I'm confused. Na, 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 na. Level two and level, hmm. Yeah, that, I mean, I'll be honest, I kind of prefer the milestone system in D&D &D to, um, like, oh, I have, a, I have killed this many things. Give me my level now. Um, so, I mean, like, unless they were, like, opposed to the milestone system itself and being like, oh, I'm, I'm tracking my own XP, I haven't earned it yet, but it's like, yeah, like, it's still leveling. Yeah, honestly, I, pr I prefer mine still leveling. Don't, don't worry about it. My words never make sense. I have to step away for a second. I have to find my wash paint, and I didn't pick it out. Ugh. I'll take my headset off for a second. Don't do anything while I'm not listening. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> He's okay. Oh, bimbo. 169 had entries. Yeah. And that's the thing is like, I feel like there was some stuff that was, didn't get entries, but still should have. No weapon. Weapon of choice. All right. I do want to keep this a very light wash. <laughs> I know. We were talking about Geoxer a couple sessions ago, or a couple painting streams ago. It was good. It was good times. 
I, I I hope Flora. I don't want to post it on her behalf because it's it's ultimately her drawing. I hope Flora decides to post a picture of Geoxer because he is. It's so so. It's so good. So good. Hi, Licky Glock. How are you? Happy debate day, I guess. I'm ignoring reality right now. How are you doing? Go with this, you can go with that. Okay. I think that's good, but I do have to put it down. You go over here where I can't look at you and regret my life choices. Ha ha. That's, you know, honestly, fair enough. Reality sucks sometimes. Embrace, not reality. Embrace the reality of cookies. Speaking of cookies, I got a pack of new cookies to try. Or rather, it's a couple pack of cookies. Um, my local grocery store had like a deal on Oreo cookies, and they had cinnamon bun flavored Oreos, and they also had um, maple syrup flavored Oreos. So I have those to try. They had two packs for eight dollars. Mm -hmm, Diana, this is your CanCon for evening. No colors anymore. I want them to turn black. So I'm sorry if you're gonna get mad at me about the Rolling Stones. Thirty, oh, thirty-eight. Okay. And I think the campaign was a. About six to eight years. There was some downtimes in there, so that made it fuzzy. That's fair. I think it, um, I had a, I had one of the maple ones before a stream because I couldn't not try them, and um, it wasn't bad. I think I think it was a good level of maple, not not like oh my god, but yeah, yeah, five nine, not yeah. I mean. Five nine isn't short by any means, but yeah, if you're looking for like, you know, you know the Arnold Schwarzenegger type, then yeah. Oh wait, no, I don't want to do this one. I wanted to do Zandri. No, you're not Zandri. Where are you? Here it is. I found it. Imagine being forty five. Oh my god. Oh, the snoots. It's happening. It's spreading. Soon there'll be no one without a boop snoot. I almost had a hiccup or something. Ugh. It's like it was your plan all along, Ishmael. Mm -hmm. So I am torn. Um, I'll get your opinion on this chat. So I'm, I've got cobblestones here. I was tempted. I have some of those like tufts of grass pieces. And I was tempted to like maybe put one or two on the uh, the models, with the idea being that. Um... Oh no! Sorry, I, I suddenly looked over my model and saw a section that was unpainted. I was like, "No, it's unpainted." Oh my god, that duel! That was an epic duel. I mean, that's exalted for you. I was supposed to die here, but. The gods said no, or rather, I said no. Uh, 
I think it was very much that duel that reinforced, like, we will not be killed by combat. We will be, the only way to remove us from the board is to, like, cause that much emotional suffering that we remove ourselves from the board. We shall not die. Sorry, I just got to touch up this spot. There we go. Okay. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Oh, did I miss a question of your brood? I'm sorry. Um, what was the question? I apologize. I mean, I can find it. I can find it. I can fix it. What's your favorite TTRPG system? And would you mind if I'm... Oh, okay. Fair enough. My apologies. Um, I would say the system I ultimately am the most comfortable with, it's probably would be, uh, like, in terms of favorite, I think it would be a tie either between uh, the World of Darkness system or the Legend of the Five Rings, specifically 4th edition Legend of the Five Rings. Um, but I think that's just because that's where my nostalgia lies, um, rather than um, it being the best system or anything like that. So uh, that, that I would say those are my, those are my favorite systems, but... Like, I've enjoyed a lot of other systems. Ultimately, I find the system is just a structure. It's it's a way to kind of, like, put some framing and rules around things. It really comes down to the skill of the DM, as well as how willing your group of friends or players or whatever, you, whatever they are, how willing they are to engage with the subject matter of what either what the DM is putting down or what they want to bring into it. Um, cause like you could have the best gaming system in the world, but if you've got a bunch of players who are obsessed with chasing an ant for three hours, may hey, maybe that's what they want to do. That's their jam. But you know, it's, it's, there's no such, yeah, I'm rambling. Sorry. <laughs> Interesting water paramount is everybody playing a hunter game. Um, I, I greatly enjoy the world of darkness system. I think the D10 system, which both L5R and uh, WAD use the D10 system, which is probably why that's sits in my most little familiar little brain, why they kind of like sit in the same brain space, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, but um, I don't know where I was going with this. Um, but yeah, like I would say a lot of things. It's like, like let's put it this way. Critical Role, Critical Role blew up, not because D&D was the best TTRPG system, but because it was run by a, a good DM and a good set of players. But yeah, Shadowrun is excellent. I would love to play a Shadowrun game. Um, I know a friend of mine, uh, Grim, is in the process of putting together a, um, I think he's picking away at a cyberpunk campaign, which I would also like to play. Which I know, like Cyber Shadowrun and cyberpunk, sometimes there's, a, there's like this perception of the, them being rivals, because they are... Admittedly, a lot of overlap, but um, there's also enough differences that I think they they have their place. They have their respective places depending on what you're looking for and what you want to play. What have I done? My God, what have I done? Do you new new new? I finished playing a cyberpunk game what do you mean um oh yeah you were saying that was a ttrpg was it cyberpunk red that you were playing or was it a different edition did you in i i hope you enjoy i hope you enjoyed it like because i guess, i mean that's ultimately what it comes down to if you're you know engaged with it if you're having i don't necessarily say a, a fun time because like sometimes tprb depending on the storyline things like that sometimes the stuff can get heavy um Especially if that's, you know, something that all the, um, if all the players are up for it, I say go for it. But I do like in recent years with the TTRPGs, you've got the, uh, the consent forms and like the kind of like, uh, consent forms make it sound like a school trip, but like the idea of like, perhaps, you know, you've got some stuff you, you, you know, it's like, again, you are escaping reality to some degree when you're playing a TTRPG and maybe you don't be, want to be reminded of that one time in grade school where everyone pointed and laugh at you. So you'd be like, you know what? I don't like seeing bullying storylines and I need you to be, you know, I need to the DM to be mindful if that's going to be part of the game because I have trauma about that. I'm just giving that as an example. Um, 
and trauma might be an over maybe too much of a word it doesn't have to be that you know it's basically just where your comfort lies like i know um one time for a game i was asked not to include spiders you know they're like i i don't like spiders i don't like them at all they give the heebie-jeebies pick another monster and it's like yeah sure i can do that oh the party medic very nice and a very important but often underrepresented role sometimes you like it's one of those things medics sometimes people forget they're important but you know some people are like but i want the big bazooka i want to go pew pew i want to be the hacker man and that's fun too like don't get me wrong but sometimes a good support class is the heart of the team quite literally yeah i know what you mean sometimes it's a matter of like finding the right group and the right dm because it's like if you want to say for instance i know what you're talking about like to some degree ishmael um if you know our our tabletop group tends to be a little narrative focused so like i say for instance like i want to do a dungeon crawl that lasts for seven sessions i don't know if our group would respond well to that uh, we would be like seven sessions of dungeon crawling and then meanwhile there's probably someone now in chat who's like oh my god seven sessions of dungeon crawling sign me up oh my god so mark hank on mm. That's, you know, and that's sometimes, sometimes you get stuck as the eternal healer. <laughs> but, um, I will say the D&D &D system does a pretty good well with its healing that, um, even if you take a healer role like a cleric, you, you can still be effective in other areas too. You're not stuck as being like, oh, my turn, I do nothing because no one's injured yet. So I'll just wait here while, until someone's bleeding. Oh yeah. Yeah. That is also another thing I will acknowledge. Um, I have had two characters die or otherwise removed from the canon of a game, and I cried both times. I cried like a little sissy. As not surprising anyone who's been a, a long-time person on my streams, it does not take much to make me cry, and when I do, I'm done for a little while, so... <laughs> I would say, like, I think in the right circumstances, I'd be okay with, like, a lot of death, but, or at least a lot of player deaths, but it would be, like, a case where it's, like, you know, like, what's that joke from, like, that movie years ago called, I think it was The Gamers, where it was, like, oh, here's my bard, and, like, he had, like, a stack of, like, 80 bards ready to go, because he kept dying. <laughs> Yes. The bar stack of bards. <laughs> like, if you had, like, a battlefront approach almost to it, where it's just like, here's your stack. Get going. By the way, you're dead again. I have YouTubers running. Yeah, I know. My, I, have, I have running mascara for a reason. It's because I, I, I cry very, very easily. Like, I remember we were talking in the Discord not long ago. Um, Leneth was mentioning uh, she's attending, she attended the Dolpla conference in um, Los Angeles, I believe it was. And there were unique dolls for auction that had been made, that had been put forward by like creators and things like that. And one of the dolls received no bids. Um, I don't think it was bad by any means, but it was, I think looking for a very specific audience. And I guess that audience just didn't ha happen to be there or they just happened to be interested in something else. Anyways, it doesn't matter. But the creator was absolutely crushed. And like Lenith was describing it. And I'm like sitting there staring at my screen and like about to cry about like, you know, kind of like imagine the scenario of a person who's like put a lot of their time and their work and their effort into putting this doll together. And then finding out when you get to that convention you know, of the, of your people, of your community, and nobody wants her. And I just, 
I was like, <laughs> why? My feelings for it. And like, a lot of people like, oh, it's just a doll. Like, get over yourself. But. <clears throat> Anyway, um, do I want to, I think my throat is well washed down. Do I have my Agrax? No, you're not Agrax. My Agrax. Me. Oh, no. One second. Sorry, I had a bit of a cough. You don't need to hear that. Yeah, they only got one ticket apiece to enter for that raffle. So, like, I get it. I can see how, like, something that is like a, oh, I like it, but I like this other thing more. Or I'm waiting for this other, this other more rarer or whatever. So, like, I can see how it happens. And I, it's like, oh, okay, it's understandable. But the other time, like, again, your heart kind of breaks. Because it's like, I get how it happens, but it doesn't change the fact that someone put their work into it and nobody wanted it or at least that's how it feels right even if you can rationalize it away Yeah, look at all those nice cobblestones coming through with the wash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to say, I always, I always sometimes like putting down a wash and just watching it run into the cracks and just be like, look at it. Look at this magic thing go. Woo. Not too much fooling. I need a little bit more. Get in the cracks. Get in there. It is sometimes, yeah. Like, and it's always, it's sometimes frustrating with painting because, like, sometimes you have to remember, like, you're like, oh, God, this looks awful. And it's like, it's not done yet. It's a work in progress. Just keep, you, you can keep working on it. You can keep tweaking it. It is very rarely in an unsalvageable state. All right. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like, yeah, like, is it something that would have been my first choice for if I were to get into the doll market? Probably not. But again, like, you're just sad to hear the story, right? Okay. Um, how is that looking? I do like that. I'm going to give it... No, I can work. I'm going to work on this, actually. Okay. Um, so the weapon here is, so just to kind of like bring up the reference again. So like the tattoos on Mercy, as well as the weapon, which right now, like, so the weapon in its kind of out state, it also transforms because it's made of a material named moon silver. And the idea is that it is a silver that is reflected moonlight. Oh, my God. Um, so I'm going to be kind of using, I think this ba basic of, uh, this is a base for the silver. And then I think I'm going to try and get some blue effects over top of it. Yeah. This is her human form. And then she becomes the snake form. Uh, cause that's, that's what lunars do. When a lunar becomes an exalted, they, um, the first animal they transform into is what is called their spirit shape, which is kind of like considered their natural animal form. They can learn to shapeshift into other animals, but, like, this is the one. <gasps> How dare. Oh, thank you, Siribot. I didn't see what happened, but that's... Un I appreciate that. Spam detected. Sorry, I just noticed a couple of spots I missed because uh, of shadows. I'm just going to quickly... There we go. So, yeah, she, she is a shapeshifter, and the idea is that moon silver weapons are also shapeshifting weapons. So she can kind of conceal her weapon as a set of prayer beads, which is what she wears them out when she's not using them. But when she wants to fight with it, it becomes a meteor hammer. I, put, I did put it in the camera. 
this, a meteor hammer. I did like the idea that when combat was happening and Mercy was not using sorcery, but using her combat abilities, basically had like a meteor hammer. Because like the idea with the meteor hammer is that it's a momentum weapon. You have to keep it moving all the time um, in order to make effective use of it. Mm hmm. I agree. Like sometimes it's not the, the look of the doll. Sometimes it is the story, if that makes sense. So, yes, I do hope that it finds a home. And this things, oh. Have I been typing overly length? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, my, my apologies. Um, I probably have missed something. Uh, oh, sorry, the last time I played, a meta character was in Deadlands, okay. Right through most combats. Sorry, I did miss this message. I mean, I'm catching up right now with something related to direct combat. I feel like if a message happens and then scrolls past while I'm like switching paints or something, it just like by all means call me out on it. Say you have missed something. Let me know. Uh, help me look out for the map. Distract me, dude. Fun campaign. Okay. Oh no, I really got to wait to be able to do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, silver. Boop. Yeah, I I promise I am not if I if it feel if it feels like I'm excluding anyone I'm not intending to I just probably legitimately missed it my my chat window is not that big, um, like right now the most recent one I can see unless I scroll back is painting really do be magical so that's the last most recent one I can see right now. Ha <laughs> ha. Nostalgia. But yeah, by all means, say, like, Liz, you missed something. Acknowledge me, Elizabeth, and I'll be like, oh my god, you're acknowledged. How are you doing? All right. For those who are interested, I will give you a cursed tea update. Here is the current cursed tea. Don't drink it. Just admire it. It looks like a bit like a matcha right now with the greens that are in there. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so sometimes, yeah, the longer messages can sometimes get buried, I think, a little easier. Which kind of seems counterintuitive because you're like, but it's a big message. It should be like super obvious. But I said, don't. Chat, you're going to make yourself sick. And then I'm going to have to take you to the hospital. And then I'm going to feel bad. You want me to feel bad? Oh, I'm not even painting. I was like, why is the paint going on? And then realizing I am not getting any tactile feedback to tell me that I'm painting. Never again, this is the end of you. No mistake, I am done with you. Says goodbye, don't even try with your same old lies. It won't work on me this time. Yes. Yeah, by all means, please go ahead, Bird. I, li I, like, I like hearing people's campaign stories. It is one of those things where it's like everyone's got such unique experiences, like even with, like, you know, like, say for instance, someone's running a Curse of Strahd game from D&D &D or whatever, no one's having two versions of that. Like, sorry, two of the same versions of that. Everyone's going to have their own take, their own mix. So I like, to, I like to hear how it goes. I like stories. Oh, thank you, Licky Glock. I will do that right now. Oh, I'm going to pay for my bad back position probably tomorrow. But
Tomorrow is not today. Ooh. Holy shit, it's after 10. Oh my god, Chad, it's been over an hour. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. I do like how the silver is coming out. It's, nice, it's subtler than lead belcher, and I like it. I like it. The fire again, this is the end of you. Mama's dead, so I am done with you. And says goodbye, don't even try with your same old lies. They won't work on me this time. Ah, current campaigns are two Lancer games and a 40k campaign. What kind of 40k campaign? You're probably about to say, uh, I built it beforehand, like a module. Okay, I think the same orchestra misses, but changes. Okay. This group of veterans and the game system. Okay. Oh, there's a new place. Okay, fair enough. It is always interesting to see people new to the TTRPG hobby and, like, you know, you, you kind of get that, you know, you get used to, like, you know, quote, unquote, the tropes or whatever, and then having someone from kind of from the outside come in and just kind of offer a fresh perspective, I guess, is the best way to put it. It's nice. I like it. Oh, new systems is just okay. Fair enough. I will say, and this was funny enough. This is kind of uh, links back to a conversation I was having with Grim earlier this evening before I was um, getting ready for stream. And like, in some respects, like especially if you were taking on the role of the DM, it's a job. Like, I know some people like go poo poo at the idea of like a professional DM who's getting paid for it, but it's like sometimes with the level of world building, with the amount of work. Yeah, you, you may want to consider getting paid for your work, you know? Time is a precious commodity, and sometimes, you, you know, you got to also keep the, the food on the tables. And, I mean, like, that is a thing now where, like, you know, maybe a hobby store will hire a DM to run an event or something like that. Like, it's, I don't want to say a viable career, but it is a emerging career, I think is the best way to put it. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I got all of the nooks and quannies of the chain. Break away with more. Okay, I think I got most of it. Okay, there's a little bit I missed. Around where the hand is. I mean, heck, I've even heard of professional players. You know, you're looking, you know, you're looking for a specific role to be met in a campaign. You know, maybe like a secret turncoat or something, and it's like, hey, maybe you just hire someone who knows what they're doing. Hmm. Yeah, honestly. Or heck, like, you know, maybe just be like a person just to like, you know, review someone's notes. Because I know like sometimes like when I've been planning games, it's like, I'd love to have a second pair of eyes on this, but... Everyone who I would ask is playing the game and I'll give spoilers if I talk to them. So it's like, what do I do? What do I do? Professional D&D &D story doctor. Oh, 40 tier. Oh, okay. A Wrath and Glory. Okay. With players as guardsmen and associates. Okay. Here's so the Necron invasion. Oh my God. And Gene Stealers. It's such a busy planet. Is there cool rocks on the planet? Is that why everyone wants to be there? Well, they're now a session away from running into their homemade scrap rhino. <gasps> oh, no, melt a gun. Those are scary. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to I'm gonna come back to this model, which I'm still... Hmm. I might do a light dry brush, but we'll, I will think on that. Just because I noticed that the, the wash, I like the effect, but it came out glossy, which I don't like. Because the rest is not glossy. And that's a no. I have paint on my hands. Anyways, 
Um, come back here. I'm just gonna now, yeah, I think I'll paint this part too. Well, I've got, well, I got the seal that out. Necron's not, oh. Such noisy neighbors. The, the Necrons are just trying to get a little bit of sleepies. And it's like, nope. All oh, these stupid, dumbass humans. How dare they? I just want to have a nap. Mating is a vague term. Fair enough. It is. Because it's like, are the neck are the Necrons an invading force? They were here first, but at the same time, this isn't their home planet, so technically still invading, but mm. what was the original indigenous life form on the planet? Who fuck knows? It's 40k. Also, that doesn't matter to anybody. Well, matter to anybody, any of the militant factions of 40k, I should say. This get sorry, I had like a little like dumb brain worm in my head where it's like, imagine in 40k, you get like a planet where it's like, oh, it's a hive world or whatever. Maybe not a hive world, maybe more of a um, what's it called? Um, what's the term for like, uh, it's a type of world that it, it um stayed in the middle ages in some respects, like its technology is deliberately held back. And it's mostly in the 40k universe, the planet is used primarily as a farm to grab humans from when they need to replenish their guardsmen. Um, imagine like one of those planets. And then suddenly the like they 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 decide to like figure out unionization and then just like the rest of like the 40k universe being like, yeah, no. We do not recognize unions here. Fuck you. <laughs> Power to the people. No, here's a melt -a gun in the face. Just kind of depressing now that I say it. Feudal, thank you. Thank you, Ishmael. I forgot the word feudal. This is what I mean. Like sometimes you can get the wrong players for your game because like 40k is a very much an example of you need the right kind of players for that game. Cause yeah, I could definitely see like players being like, well, I wanna lead these people to rebellion. And it's like no, it's not going to happen. What do you mean it's not going to happen? Yeah, there's a ship orbiting the planet. Um, this planet's no longer deemed profitable enough. They're just going to do some exterminatus. So... I'm saying there isn't room for unionization in the grim dark future, but... Yeah. Yeah. It can be an issue because, like, sometimes when you're dealing with, because I could see that also happening in Sabat. Because again, Sabat is about the evil vampires, the ones that are like, I did a murder and I got a gold star for it. Not necessarily that, but you know what I mean. Like, if you get someone who's like really like not okay with that, it's not going to be the. It's not. It's not a good match. Um, either the DM needs to look at maybe a different game, or um. I'm trying to think of the right way to phrase this. Ah, there's paint stuck in this hole and it's bothering me. Or did I fix it? Did I fix it? It was a little bit stuck in there. Yeah. Yeah. Why am I not? If I'm being a good person, why am I not getting rewarded for it? And it's like, it's Rogue Trader. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I fixed it. So, yeah, there is very much sometimes a discussion that needs to be had. Because I remember once, years ago, um, there was a, 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 like a, mini, like a mini campaign of Legend of the Five Rings, which is, to be clear, a samurai game. If you do not want to be a samurai for whatever reason, don't play Legend of the Five Rings. Yeah. Yeah, and you may be punished for being trying to be a good person. Like, and that the same thing also with forty k is you have to realize like if you're playing certain classes of or playing certain types of things. Like, if you if you just say like I want to be a mutant in forty k, sure, 
the entire world is, or the, at least the Imperium of Man is going to be racist as hell to you. And if you don't want to sign up for that, either the DM has to be okay with not being lore accurate to, 40, to Warhammer 40k, which is totally fine. Or you have to maybe look at a different character. Like there, there is basically, you know, kind of like a balancing act to be had there where it's like, you know, maybe you want to look at a different space game if that's, if that's your jam. And uh, the example I have with L5R is, or sorry, Legend of the Five Rings was, again, it's a samurai game. Um, and it has a very much an idea of a case system, which is the samurai are better than everybody else. And um, I remember there was a couple people who were like, I don't want to play a samurai. And it's like, okay, then do you not want to play Legend of the Five Rings? No, I want to play in the world. I just don't want to play a samurai. And it's like, please explain. And they're like, well, I want to be a peasant. And it's like, like a farmer and like yeah like i want to be a peasant or a servant and it's like you do realize this is a cl- like this is a class-based system it's samurai you know a samurai may kill you for looking at you funny if we're going to be 100 percent lore accurate to the system like it, this is not intended to be a good time for the lower class <laughs> Yeah, want to play a pacifist and Lancer, right? Yeah, like that's like again, like Warhammer. It's like I want to be a pacifist in Warhammer. You want to be dead? Like, so there, 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 it's one of those things where it's like wanting to be a pacifist in of itself is not wrong. It's just Warhammer isn't the right match for you. That's basically the answer. Is like let's find let's find something that does work. Um, if everyone in the group wants to do something different, then yeah, like, let's find that thing. Okay. Um, so I think I'm going to try and quickly paint out the the thingies before I do too much work on the... Do, 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 do. All right, so that's going to be not kids love. Uh, I need the darker skin. Here we go. Kadian. All oh, just laughed at them as people who knew nothing about the setting. Yeah. People review bombing the game over it. Uh, yeah. Like, I guess you're talking about the the Owl Cat game, or are you talking about the T? Is that the one you're talking about, Ishmael? Just to make sure. But yeah, like, again, it's the Grim Dark. There is no good answer to a lot of these solutions. Like, there's like a lot of people are like, oh, like, Chaos is, all- they're doing such terrible things to fight Chaos. And it's like, yeah, they have to. That's that's kind of how the setting works, unfortunately. If you're not okay with that, great. But Warhammer probably isn't for you. That's it. Like if someone, like if you, if you had like a you know a group and a storyteller that are all down for like comedy time chaos cult or whatever, yeah, sure, why not? Go for it. Like you're, you know, what what you guys suit decide to do at your table, as long as everybody's down for it, go for it. Like if someone was like someone pitched to me like, hey, for Halloween, I want to do a hunter the gas. I want to do hunter, uh, using the wad system, but I want to make a Ghostbusters. As long as everyone's okay with that going in, do it. Like yeah, like some some lore purist might be like, no, that's not what you're doing, hunter. But in summary, you choose to be good but not rewarding you, and sometimes even punch. Yeah, and I mean like as much as I have to say it, that's kind of life as well. Like. Sometimes doing the right thing doesn't get you a cake and a pat on the head and people telling you you're a good person. Sometimes you do the good thing because that's what you want to do to live with because that's what you're what you do for yourself, right? You know, you don't you don't be you're not a good person because they're going to get because you're going to get rewards in kittens. You're a good person because you know, that's you know, that's what so you know, you're comfortable with yourself and you're you're happy with the things that you have in your life, I guess. I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, shock and surprise, I'm not entirely religious, so I'm not like, oh, you're a good person because it means God will take you into the kingdom of heaven. I'll be like, mm, excuse me, what? But anyway, sorry. Rambling, I'm going to go back to painting. I find kind of in that vein, um, one of the views with, yeah. 
Um, and like, I'll be honest, if you be a good person is dependent upon receiving cookies or receiving head pats or whatever. I mean, one, some head pats are nice. I'm not going to argue that. But it, like, if your behavior, if your behavior is a condition based on the I need to be rewarded, then are you really a good person? Or are you just, is it just the mask? Something to think about. Or not. I don't know a damn thing. Yeah, it gets, yeah. Yep. In the end, we're all just spinning around in a rock doing our best. The, the, way, the way I kind of put it down is like, ultimately, the things you do, no one owes you anything for doing a good thing. Certainly, it is nice to receive gratitude or whatever, but like, ultimately, you know, sometimes it's not going to be how it goes. You'll do a good thing and that person will throw it in your face. Hopefully they don't, because some people are pupies. I didn't mean for this to get into some sort of like weird discussion on morals. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of the idea. It's like if yeah, if you are if you're like, where's my reward, then is that really all that matters to you? And sometimes that's a bit of an, a nasty thought spiral to go down into it. It's like cause it, it kind of goes down to like the I put in my plot coupons, like or I put in my nice coupons, where's my nice prize? <laughs> it is, yeah. Not this brush. I'm doing sorry. Yeah, we're all we're all just doing our we're trying to do our thing. Ugh. I'm trying to get the wash in without it hitting too much of the silver. I do not know if I'm succeeding. Hello. Yes. I am evil and immoral. All may fear and worship me. You hold my glory. <laughs> and then behold my glory as I make weird mouth sounds. A younger Banshee actually wanted to try and do a cover of this song, but I do not know if I could pull off the high notes here anymore. At least not without a lot of retraining. <laughs> Man, for me a story for my campaigns, I find very funny. Um, you are welcome to go ahead. Ah, uh, bird. What is a little war crime between friends? We, I mean, we are talking about the channel where, where we regularly, you know, break, break out the nukes at the earliest opportunity when we're playing Civ. So, I am not in a place to judge. Visit upon us your worst, your worst bird. But sorry, just also kind of like talking about that, the, the moral system and things like that. Um, I mentioned before, I'm currently working through a playthrough of uh, Disco Elysium. And again, like Disco Elysium has a lot, again, a lot of that same vibe. You can do good things and be, I don't say punished for it, but like you may not get a reward for it. Doing the right thing doesn't necessarily, or you might have characters who get outright mad at you for doing the right thing because, you know, they did, that's not what they wanted you to do or they wanted something else to happen or whatever, right? <laughs> no worries, Ishmael. All right. So I think with this, the, this, I might want to try and use this to kind of give some of that glint. 
Um, honestly, oh, wait, I think I've got a contrast that might be good for this. Um, I, the problem is, is it might be too dark of a contrast. Um, sorry, contrast is a type of paint uh, Warhammer does, or sorry, Games Workshop does. Um, let me grab it. I think, one second. Paint. You? Here it is. Alasar. So at a table for Lancer and later, later Lancer battle group, we had three big military nerds, one of which was like in reserve duty, and then a cute femboy who had never heard anyone IRL. This femboy to this day is the only one across my lines of against who made war crimes of any sort. Oh no, oh no! It's always it's always the gentle ones who come up with the like. Oh no, oh no! You're like, oh, how could you do this? And they're like, oh, I don't know. Oh, I wouldn't do that in real life. And it's like, but, but. All right. So this is the contrast paint I'm trying to use. It's called Talisar Blue. This might be too dark. We're going to, we're going to try, we're going to do a little test. If I don't like it, I can put silver back over it and pretend I never did it. The song is oddly oddly apt right now, but I don't know why. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, so you kind of see here, like, this can be a very strong color, so I got to be very careful. I'm going to try and dab up as much as I can. All right. How much? Oh. Oh. You know what? I think I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do a dry brush on top and I think that's going to look mwah. I think I'm going to like that. So I'm going to keep going. In a Lancer game, he played a supportive hacker mech who could disable enemies with heat of their cores. Okay. When a group of enemies who were associated with the Pinkerton agency tried to surrender, he locked them up in their mechs and then threatened Oh! Oh no! Oh no, that's naughty. You don't cook people in mechs. That's naughty. Oh, wait. Here we go. Can I try it loud enough? I'm giving up this ghost. How can I still justify when you deny my voice? In this nothing, I am not allowed. I just follow along. Words as weapons without a sound. Echoes dying on board. On tears. breath. Yeah. On tears. Silence. When I'm gone. Now it's vanishing. Everything. What we might have praise for my name, but you won't be again. Na 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 na. <laughs> that convention, it doesn't protect you. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. It's not a war crime. The first time a thing happens, it's not a war crime. It's only when they put it down on paper that it becomes a war crime. I may have heard that from someone. That someone may have been Ish. Here shadows all that remain. This is but it calls it over in this parade of pain. On to one's breath. You never know until you feel the silence. Only you praise for my name, 
Oops, sorry. Oopsie doo doopsie doop a doo. Not too bad. Ah. I am indeed scared. You. The reason I had to there was. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're fine. We're fine. Definitely, no war crimes are being plotted in Canada. Definitely zero. Hmm. Uh, how are we doing? Oh, oh, there's oh, one more long. Oh, there's more story. Did I miss it? Okay, let me find out the conclusion. The Lancer Battle Group, he lost a ship to an enemy force, and so the fight had ended on, and Medvac ships were sent out. He sent out a fake one from his own ship to specifically locate the commanding officer of the vessel that destroyed his ship, dragged that captain onto his flagship, and let all 2,000 or so. Oh my god. Wow. That's vengeance. Hopefully that was vengeance. That wasn't just, it was Tuesday and I felt like it. But at the same time, I mean, again, this is 40K. Is the grim dark. Someone cure him of his grief. His only son. Cut down by the battle won. Oh, what is it worth? Now what's left is hurt. Let the stars chase the sun over the glowing hill. I will conquer. Rod is red indeed. I will never sleep. Suddenly her mother comes. Something like the say Oh no, she's thick. Too thick. Too much. Yeah, do not do not mess with femboy team. Damage is already done. Come on, is this what you want? Okay, I need to still. There we go. That's better. Oh, the queen of peace. Always does her best to please. I admit in you. Oh, gotta be careful. Don't do too much. It's gotta lose. Like a long scream. They're always echoing. Oh, what is it worth? All that's left is hurt. Like the stars trace the sun across the glowing hill, I will conquer. Blood is running deep. Oops. Lancer's mostly utopian setting. Okay, particularly rules if you're in. Okay, he was a private merc in the main Lancer game. Okay, relatively free. Gotcha. And he got away with the latter case due to his crew's intense loyalty. Ooh. That does make sense. That does feel like a thing where it's like, that's the thing is like, I'm not necessarily opposed to a character doing things that are awful in a game TTRPG, but the response from the world needs to make sense for that world. Because there's nothing worse than, you know, 
oh, I did this thing, and then the sky rained kittens. And you're like, that doesn't make sense. I mean, I wouldn't complain about the sky raining kittens, but sometimes your immersion gets broken if the world does not make sense. Like, you know, the whole idea that if you've got a murder hobo party, sometimes, you know, your reputation precedes you and people are like, hey, it's the murder hobos. And it doesn't have to be like an immediate response. Like, sometimes it could be a slow burn. How is that? It's coming across stronger on camera than it is in real life. I will. I w off camera but i do like that for now um and then yeah as i said i'll dry brush over that so i do need to give it some time to dry Hmm. Yeah, and that makes sense. Hey, like whatever if that works for you and your group, then hey, that's awesome. All right, I think that's good. Oh, sorry, I thought I heard Feral Beast. I think I was wrong. Oh my god, it's 10 to 11. Oh my god. Oh my god. Time has flown. Where has it gone? I missed a spot. I hate it when you put down the model and you're like, oh, I'm done. And you put it down. And you're like, nope, I'm not. Pew, pew, pew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doop, doop, doop. Yeah, so yeah, I let it dry. So I'll work on, I think I'll work on this one. And then that might be where I call it. It, it is important to let contrast paints. They're kind of like uh, the, the wet paints or the, not the wet paint, the gloss. The shade paints, the ones that kind of like sink into the cracks, like these, like these, you got to give them at least 20 minutes. You got to be careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, that's, that's, that sounds pretty fair, Bird. Like, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Just, just, there we go. Ah! Oh, this way. Ah! Don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. Dry brushing, this is gonna be a pain in the boot. But that's okay. No, kitty hair. Kitty hair, no. Okay, it's gone. You can't hurt me anymore. Sorry, just like before I put the brush in, I just saw this little like cat hair drift onto the brush and then just sit there. Oh no, I'm sorry, bird. Go to bed. Get some rest. I don't have a charisma. I just ramble. I have no charisma. My charisma score is two. I don't know what system that's in. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes. Please go to bed. No passing out at your desk, please. Have a good sleep, 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 and a good evening and such, and a good morning when you get there. Charismatic rambling. It's just rambling.
Yep, have, have a good sleep bird. Have dreams of other birds. Or not birds. Dream whatever you want. There's been a couple times like where I've been stuck on like stuff for like a TTRPG where it's like I'm planning this, I don't know what to do with it. And it's like you kind of sometimes you hit a point where you just gotta walk away, like leave it to marinate in your brain. And then I I have a dream and my my brain is like, here's the solution to your plot problems. And I'm like, oh my God, my subconscious, thank you so much. And then the struggle is trying to remember it when you wake up later, right? Like, good luck remembering your dreams, even when you have like one where it's like, that's a perfect plot point. Hello, brainless, welcome back. There's been progress made and maybe a discussion of war crimes, but we don't talk about that part. But no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Now we're used to <laughs> Fair enough. Who burned down the White House? It was definitely Canadians. But it's okay, America had it coming that time. Manifest destiny, my ass. I'll manifest this destiny when I burn down your White House. Now you have to come back and deal with me. If I recall correctly, that was what happened in the War of 1812. They were like, oh no, they're invading Canada. What do we do? Well, we want them to stop invading Canada. Well, how do we get them to stop invading Canada? I think they have superiority in numbers. How about we go burn down the White House? So they have to go home and deal with the White House that's on fire. And they're like, I accept your plan. But I could be wrong. I have not done history in a very, 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 very long time. Don't say the quiet part out loud. <laughs> They wrote a song about the burning of the White House. I forget who sang it, though. Burn, burn, burn. We're the ones that did it. No, the Pink House. Oh. <laughs> we're very proud of the reason. GV. Canada, could you stop? No. We wrote this paper saying you have to stop. Oh, damn it. Okay, fine. They put it on paper, our one weakness, legislation. I've been telling lies to myself. Oh, it was after, it was, it was pink house, it was whitewashed, after, it was whitewashed white after we burnt it down. Hee <laughs> hee, the Geneva suggestions. Is the Geneva guidelines, the if you could, if you could kindly not conventions? The Geneva, oh no, what has Canada done now? Conventions. The Area Worms, thank you. Thank you for being my brain today, Ishmael. Uh, have I got all the spots? Nope, I haven't got all the spots. Get all the spots. All the spots. The Geneva's terms and conditions. No. <laughs> well, if it were like the terms and conditions we have nowadays, just by engaging in the, just by engaging in it, it's like, oh, you're assumed by engaging in the Geneva, you are assumed to have read the Geneva Conventions and have accepted the terms, and it's like, Ugh. and now you can't, now you won't get money from Disney if you die. <laughs> Which is a gross, I know that's a very gross of simplification of everything that happened in that news story, but don't worry about it. Nuance? What the fuck is nuance? Sounds like a weird sauce. And you know what? I like garlic sauce. <laughs> I'm gonna eat. Don't eat the mouse. Well, no, I guess you 
I won't. You know what? Uh, it's not. I'm not here to tell you what you do and don't eat. Now your country actress assigns to them. Fair enough. I just meant that they made them. If they made them nowadays, they'd be more like your uh, TOSs. Mmm. So the idea is you, because I know the idea of the Geneva Convention is like basically we can't do these things to you, but you can't do them either. I think. I don't know. Which is like kind of bad. Where it's like, okay, you haven't signed these, so I guess we can mustard bomb you. And it's like maybe just don't mustard bomb people. Maybe. Oh no. Oh. Uh... Oh. Uh, technicalities. Yeah. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm missing spots. Okay, I think I got all the spots. I think? Okay, I missed a couple spots. I don't know the meditation history. It's true. I will acknowledge I learned a lot of this stuff in school and stuff, but then I left school and I forgot. Like, would you like to know how many pounds of pressure it takes to break a knee? I can tell you that. Bear in mind, this is direct pressure. Because that's the shit I remember. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Uh, nope, missed a spot. How do I keep missing spots? It's all the spots I've missed. There we go. Okay. 7.5? Oh. I heard it was 17. But maybe you're right. Maybe I'm wrong. In the region of the world. Oh. Ah. Well, PSI to break the sternum. Yeah. Sternum's pretty sturdy. Also, here's a weird piece of information for you. So your sternum, if you look at someone like when you gain or lose weight or muscle mass or whatever, there's one place you will not. And it is actually your sternum. Your sternum will never like it doesn't gain. There, there's apparently no fat gets collected there or there's no muscles there. So regardless of how your weight may or may not change, or your physique may or may not change with whatever, that the area in front of your sternum always stays the same. There's your other weird wisdom of the day. But yeah, okay. So this is where we are on the Mercy Transform figure, and this is where we are on the Mercy, uh, whoop, the Mercy human form. So I think we're in a pretty good, like, I think I might finish the human form either next stream or, like, pretty soon. This one will take longer because I've got the wings to do and the fire effect. So this, and I still have to do the tail effects as well. I do. Hey, there you go, Ishmael. I told you something you didn't know. Ha 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 ha. But yeah, I think this is a good progress overall. I'm happy. No problem. Weird facts. I wouldn't say that's... I don't know if I'm scary, but... I try not to be scary, but... <laughs> Darling, I don't know where I go to extremes. Oh no, I'm getting stuck. Okay. Half of the bones of your body's contained. That's also interesting. Yeah, because you've got the all the, the little digit bones. Digits. Digits. Anyways. <laughs> it is 11 o'clock. It is about that time. I'm sorry if I was scary, teacup. I didn't mean to. But anyways. I'll go over here. Poof. Poof. Anyways, yep, thank you guys so much for joining me for today's stream. I hope it was entertaining, if a little scary.
maybe distracting at the very least. Yeah, time for me to get a little bit of rest, and then I have to go to work tomorrow. Nuh. Boo. Anyways, um, in terms of what's coming up next for the Dungeon Lounge, tomorrow, Thursday, or no, tomorrow is Wednesday. Do you know what day it is? I don't, apparently. Tomorrow, Wednesday, <laughs> uh, Flora will be back playing Fields of Mystria uh, at 2 p.m. And then on Thursday, Flora will be back again again, and she'll be doing an art where you can see additional cringe of her working on her character Choir of Birdsong from the same campaign. And then I'll be back on Friday at 8 p.m., continuing my playthrough of Alan Wake 2, specifically the final draft of the game. Woo! I just got Alan out of the lake. Yeah. Uh, Saturday will be a rest day for the lounge, but then we'll be back on Sunday at 2 p.m. to continue our playthrough of Rogue Trader, which is part of the 40k universe, where apparently I will not be rewarded for being a good person, which I did not expect to happen because it's 40k. Anyway. Do, 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 do. Anyways, uh, let's, as usual, if you haven't already, please consider following us on the social medias. There is Twitter. Maybe don't look at Twitter right now. It's probably full of grumpiness. Not from me. I just mean in general. Ah, uh, the medical stuff passing. Fair enough. Fair enough. That, and that's and that's a fair that's a fair thing. No, that's uh, totally understandable. Teacup. Uh, next we have our Discord, where definitely we have not discussed war crimes, to my knowledge. And then finally, our YouTube. Which is all the VODs. Ta-da! Okay. I'm not your real mom. So yeah, I can't tell you to do anything with Gluck, but I can make suggestions. And I suggest... I kindly suggest. Would you kindly? Anyways, let's find someone to raid. Do, do. <laughs> no worries. I am glad you enjoyed Brainless... And also, I gotta thank you from Teacup. So also, thank you, Teacup. Okay. Who's live? Oh, we do have some people playing for... Oh, I think everyone's playing Space Marine. We're playing the Space Marine. Oh, my God. You think it just came out or something? Oh, Kazukitsu. Okie dokie. Um, ah, they're playing Black Myth Wukong. Oh, yeah, that's the, uh, that one. That's cool. Let's go over there. Kazu. Kazu. There we go. All right. So please give Kazu a warm welcome on behalf of the Dungeon Lounge. And we're going to go over. And oh, wait. Okay, he might be ending. This might be bad. We might be going on a raid train. Okay. Bye.